Good day everyone, my name is Ricky, Raxon4416, and one off, let's play it. How you going? Welcome to A Rational Changi, Episode 1. As you probably can't see on the screen, uh, the episode will be up in the, up in the black area, around the whole, around the screen reaction bit, over there. Um, before I get into it, I have seen bits and pieces of it. Just skipping through and whatnot, what I need to black out and whatnot. But uh, I see nothing to black out. Back in my day. <laughs> uh, also today I got myself a new mic. So I'm using it right now. I'm, I'm sorry if you can't hear my voice properly. And I'm lucky I'm not recording on audio das. And here we go in three, two, one. Oh, before we keep going into it, the miniseries is based on the prisoners of Singapore. Yeah, one of my family members was in Singapore at the time of this war. So without further ado, let's get into it once again. Thank Christ, Tommy. I was going <laughs> mad. What are shooting stars? Dust. Stones entering the atmosphere. They burn up when they hit the air. There's who? There's a rich body of scientific evidence. Yeah, it sounds like bullshit to me. How many stars <laughs> are there? Does anyone know? Why don't you count them, Cole? Yeah. Oh, Christ. Take all bloody night. <laughs> what are they, anyway? Stars? Yeah. Suns, mate. Oh, yeah? Suns. I reckon that they're pinholes. What's on the other side then, Kill? Uh, God's toilet, probably. <laughs> Pretty bleak view of the universe, Kill. Huh? I like toilets. I remember when we got one put inside at home, the whole neighbourhood dropped in. That sounds like a great day, Kill. <laughs> <laughs> Are the stars out tonight? I don't know if it's cloudy or bright. Cloudy. Cause I only have eyes for you, dear. Piss off, Curly. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, mate. I agree. After the war, by look at things. Barney! Barney! <laughs> I'll be staggered, Barney. Pretty well done. Right then. He found it. Love his duck. I'll have to bury it again. Ah, it was you. you we knew they'd been skullduggery. You see, Barney, you think you can trust him, then... Come on, we can have the full inquiry later. <laughs> Barney... David. Kate, you know, you look wonderful. How can you tell? I can tell. 
I only have eyes for you, dear. I'll bet you Mike and Mari Green wear their matching green ties tonight. <laughs> they wouldn't dare. Why do I feel absurd? At least you're out of the house. Mike and Mari are approaching. Ah, the Greens. The Greens. Hi, guys. When's the unveiling? Your eye, Wednesday. How are you anyway, Mike? The Allen's place? 1.3. Sold yesterday. Right. The doctor's quite optimistic. Kate is the master of optimism. The doctor is the master of optics. I'm just the blind guy in the middle. Have you got your green ties on? Honestly, if you don't want to go to these functions, why say yes? It's not as though I'm craving to stay part of the real estate crowd. I'm enjoying it. Evening. Oh. <laughs> My husband's blind. Temporarily. Oh, sorry. She's a nurse, mate. See it all. Right. <laughs> People don't know how to take you. Mate, do that. Uh, take them. Maybe there. from an era well before the easel was taken outdoors. What we see is the palette of Europe. Beautiful greens. Indeed. It's hard to imagine that this romantic landscape yes. was actually painted in Australia at all. Part of the reason was psychological. The artist wanted to see home. I'll say. Shh. Are you all right, old man? I see. So Mike was Curly Foster. That's right. And Gordon and Bill were there. Well, it's another symptom. It's perfectly consistent. You get depressed, Bill Dwyer gets in touch. Gets a bit I'll obvious, doesn't it? Touch with him. Nine years is up again and the dreaded reunion visits us once more. <laughs> I've lived through it five times. So have you. If you're not careful, it could become very self-indulgent this time round. I think I'll have to stay up for a while. Unless you give him a phone for these headphones. Do you want to talk about it? No. You going to sleep tonight? I won't be long. Stand a better chance being horizontal, that's all. <laughs> being blind doesn't mean a bloke's oblivious to sarcasm. <laughs> True. Right, the white ones, I've done that without it, I'll not be right now. Come to bed, love. Squeaking. Sorry, Katie. Like I normally say, sorry if I'm not talking, but most of the time I shut the sound up. It's taking me so somewhere. It. It, it might be just the, the darkness with the sound, I don't, I don't know. I'll phone Bill Dwyer tomorrow. Hmm? Oh no, Kate, I'm going. We'll see. We'll see. This could be the last time we see each other. I'm not convinced it's a good idea. It's past midnight. Come on. Memories. The first time I saw you, Katie, you came in when Colonel Carter was visiting. You said, sorry, sir, I'll come back later. I was amazed by you. <laughs> Your home. And home is about the future, not the past. That's got to be put behind again. I have no doubt that you all have horrendous stories. But that, I'm afraid, is the nature of war. Everyone has horrendous stories. <coughs> Rule a line under it. Start a new page. People don't want to hear it. Nor is it healthy to dwell on it. This is more than advice. This is normal. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'll come back later. That's all right, nurse. I'm finished. Right, men? New page. Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Carry on. Gonna 
have to build you up, young man. I'll get used to this. You have a choice, David. Chicken soup or chicken soup? It depends. On what? Who brings it to me? I'll bring it to you if you like. I'll have both chicken soups then. <laughs> You were the gentlest man I'd ever met. You still are. They bring back pictures from the First World War. How's the book? Quite good. Hmm. If I feel like Rich that. character development. Compelling plot. A structure that surprises without exposing itself. Language that challenges without offending. Hmm. A style, a style that is both modern and I don't want to sit this close to the mic. A tone. I want to sit back here a bit. When I finished. <laughs> oh, Christ. Dad got the book of this and he saw his mic. The old pages come back. In the dark. Right, that's like getting pretty annoying. I'm following these on. Well, I can't help it. I haven't been shown many pages at all. All I know is that every nine years, I live with a stranger. <laughs> finally settled down. Hope you love it's cold. Mm. Is she all right? Mm, something's upset her. There's times like these I wish she could talk. It'll happen. I wish she could talk. This again? We're prisoners in a camp in Singapore for years. I know that. Tell me about the dream. I have. I'm buggered if I know what the dreams are about. We sat around and we starved. No David adventures, true, no David heroics, David. just fear. Fear and hunger. We kept our heads down. Food and water. We survived. They were lucky if they survived. That's it, Katie. That's my amazing spell-blinding bloody... Spell-binding? Binding, binding, bloody shit I'm Mate. sorry. I'm sorry. That is my story. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I don't know what we're thinking right now. Is that all I'm going to get? That's all there is. I do not want to be up half the night for the rest of my life watching you writhing about. I need my sleep too, you understand? You need help.
Jack flag in the back there. At ease, men. <laughs> really yeah, this is Colonel Smythe, the Allied Camp Commander, and he's going to give us the good oil. Colonel. Thank you, Dr. Lord. Well, I suppose the first thing is welcome to chat. We are prisoners of war. I can't promise it will be a holiday, but I'm sure you'll find it not too bad if you toe the line. Now, obviously, things are a tad ramshackle here at the minute. We'll have to make the best of it under the circumstances. <laughs> Just follow orders. Any questions? Water, sir. Can we get some water? What is the position, Lawson? For the rent? Uh, one tap, sir. Well, presently, there is one tap available to you. Water, therefore, should be distributed in an orderly fashion. Any other questions? And here you can get tins of strawberry jam. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest you ignore idle gossip. It's dangerous and misleading. Bullshit. It is. <laughs> <laughs> there is no strawberry jam. And if your language is indicative of your attitude, Lord help us all. The only food available to us is what the Japanese choose to provide us with. End of story. Understood? Yes, sir. Is that understood, Corporal? Yes, sir. Good. Any other questions? When do we get to go home? <laughs> good, good, yeah, good answer, mate. Good answer. Why don't you have a good look? I think this is where we're supposed to. Alright. Well, that's not a bad spot here. I'm good. Uh, Papa Collins, Corporal. Right, alright. Enough of that. First names will do. Uh, David, Eddie, Tom at the back, uh, Curly. Sorry, I don't know uh, Bill, Bill Dwyer. Put your stuff down. When'd you get to Singapore? Two weeks ago. Just in time for the surrender. Yeah. Like some gin? The men are here, David. G'day. Great. Uh, do you need me to carry anything? No, mate, you're all right. Leave it to us, missus. I will. Steve, the, the saws, mate, the rope, the rake, the shovel. That'll do for starters. Right, eh? Great day. I'm not in the way. No, mate, you're right as rain. Good. Is Barney with me? Yeah, he's here, all right. Bloody big old bugger, isn't he? Did you say the mower? No. Saw, rake, shovel, rope. Right. He's um, not what you'd call quick. It's not a bad spot you got here. Very nice. Not a bad spot. Where's the tap? <laughs> Japs live up there. I don't see much of them, thank Christ. Brits are back over there, the Dutch are all over the place. About three miles down that road are the wharves. There's plenty of jobs there, so that's a place to be because there's heaps of food. <laughs> Through those fences and malaise. And they're good because they trade food for other stuff. That's about it. One big party. How long have you been here? A week. It's good to be answered to. Lawson. Oh, yeah. Give this guy a wide berth if you're in a hurry. G'day, mate. I speak English. So do we. Ah, English. <laughs> it's like uh, German, but more concise, is English. Oh, yeah. Guillaume Cope is me. I am from Holland. Don't say thing in the dike, it's not so fun. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Juleps are grown in my country. I am so hungry now. Yeah? I, I, I look for cats. See? Man is a cat snake. Nice to meet you, Gabe. Australian. You speak English flatter, sort of. Eh? Is interesting. You have kangaroos. Your koala is lazy fellow. Drunk on your eucalyptus. <laughs> you have food? Sorry, mate. Where do they get lit? I go now. I keep walking, walking and talking till I find food. What's the story with food? 
That's it. Right, biscuits for three days. Can we live on that? Always got these. Beauty, needles. We can sew the stuffing into the chook when we get the chook. <laughs> and the stuffing. <laughs> Right, good as you were, men. Uh, just here will be fine, thank you, Lofty. Good man. What's this, sir? Sack full of sirloin? Rice. And we cook it, sir? Correct. Boil it for about ten minutes. There's your provisions for a week. A week? I could eat the bloody lot by myself. Now, men, two serious matters. A piano. Does anyone play? I do, sir. Oh, excellent. We'll, uh, we'll store the piano in here. Right here, Rowdy. Now, the second matter, books. We have acquired a library with hundreds of English volumes. I need volunteers to help stack them in order. Yeah, you reckon? Big bastards in one box, little bludgers in the other? Christ, who would read all this? First lesson, never volunteer for anything. We mind if we're here long enough. You never volunteer for anything. Stroll in Ethiopia, A Journey of the Mind, by Nigel Sedgman. Oh, I'll have it when you're finished. Christ or bloody mighty. Well, if it's a camp library, we should classify them. Subjects? Yeah, history, science, literature, that sort of thing. Very scientific, Bill. Right out, so Schiller's Don Carlos and other dramas goes in literature? Yeah. Rightio. What about the stroll in Ethiopia? Well, uh, geography, or philosophy. Rightio. Until we know, I'll put it in the section under bullshit. No, nope. you boys can sort it on page lugging it. Righto. <laughs> Here's a beauty. Pregnancy by Roger Duff. Bullshit. He'd know about it, I suppose. Roger Duff. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, uh, Roger Duff wouldn't know about the cave, you'd have to say. What's the no pictures. Might have been the Dodger. Mate. And a chock full of piggies. I'd have called it rooting. No, it's not rooting. <laughs> Good one, Eddie. What about up there? My Roger Dar. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, mate. Not bad. Attention. You both! What do you do? What do you do? What are you doing, I think? Uh, sorting books, sir. Big ones over here, little ones over there. That sort of thing. <laughs> oh. Smokes? Any smokes? Any ciggies? I lieutenant also. You remember? Oh, shut up, take a What's that, sir? Huh? <laughs> Your name, I didn't catch it. Asshole. Asshole. Asshole! <laughs> 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 Lance Corporal Roger Duff, Lieutenant <laughs> Arsenal, sir. Private up the Duff, Arsenal, sir. Lieutenant. Private Dave Duff, sir. Private Dandruff, <laughs> Mr. Arsenal, sir. <laughs>